Hello everybody, welcome back to another Facebook Live here at the uh, Cultural Alliance of Long Beach. I'm Efren Luna with Art, Music and Culture and uh, with Cal, Cultural Alliance of Long Beach. So today I'm going to do a drawing um, for the art class online. Hopefully it'll inspire, it will inspire you uh, to draw and uh, create some art. Uh, for today's lesson, uh, you just need a reference, a picture, or uh, or a phone to find an image, or your imagination. Either you know, either way is fine. Uh, um, but I am going to use an image, and I'm going to use this image. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, but I'll show it to you up close in a little bit more. I'm just trying to see if uh, if we're live on my other phone, so I can answer your comments. Um, So this image, in fact, let me bring it up closer to the camera. So today is just me on the camera and, uh, and on the class pretty much. So, so this is the image. I know there's about four folks watching us. Shout out to the folks that are watching us. Uh, so this is a photo. Uh, this is an original photo. Uh, this particular image you're not going to find on Google or any, anywhere else. Um, this is a film photo but you can use any reference right so i'm gonna just paint this nice little or not actually uh paint i'm gonna i'm gonna dry it i'm going to um dry it and then color it i'm gonna use color pencils color pencils are really great um so i'm kind of just gonna guide you through that for the next uh, you know for the next hour or so hello derek thank you for watching us um i hope you enjoy the the next hour, uh, we're going to get started with something uh, something like this. So feel free to bring out your paper, pencil, color pencils, markers if you have them. Uh, but uh, color pencils are cool, you know, because you can erase, uh, you know, depending on how hard you pressed. And also uh, you can blend. So let's have a little fun and, and, uh, and enjoy ourselves for the next hour. All right, so um, so I show you my reference, right? And I'm gonna be using I'm going to be using uh, drawing paper, drawing paper. Just like you know, if you have this, that's fine. If you don't, you can use regular regular paper. Um, you can use regular paper, like uh, you know, regular white paper for like the printer. That'll work as well too. Okay, there we go. So I set up my my other phone so I can answer your comments. So let's get started. Uh, um, on the background, I have artworks that I've done uh, that I've done uh, prior to you know, like prior to today, I guess, or since the pandemic. So the, the sunset, I'm gonna show you this real quick because it turned out pretty good. This was from, uh, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. And this is what we have, it's really cool. It's, uh, it, this took about an hour. Uh, I did touch it up afterwards, but this, this turned out to, to be pretty cool. Um, it looks very realistic and, uh, and um, you know, I was very impressed with the result. So, um, I'm a little bit delayed on my on my um, on answering your comments, okay? Because I have another device here. So bear with me if you if you make a comment, or uh, I will respond to you. Just bear with me because um, it's a little bit delayed on my other device, and it's just me today. By the way, I'm wearing my Lakers hat. So shout out to the Lakers. Shout out to the Dodgers, 2020 champions. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, our situation in the country gets resolved very soon. Uh, so let's get started. Also, this little drawings or paintings, this was leftover paint and I just wanted to do something really quick. So these are not finished, uh, paintings. Uh, they're just like, it's a little, it's thicker paper, it's matting paper that's leftover. And instead of throwing the paint away, I just did like quick paintings, uh, you know, like just quick sketching or just paintings, you know, kind of like a sunset. So the colors are limited because it's what I had before I threw the or cleaned up my palette. So um, 
anyway, so just keep uh, creating. And that's the idea behind, uh, behind doing that. So let me get a clean piece of paper. Some of these papers are, are marked. Okay, here we go. This one's actually pretty good. So we'll, we'll do this side. We're gonna fold our, our notebook. So very simple, we just need a pencil. You know, make sure it's sharpened, an eraser. And don't worry about it too much if it's not perfect. Like in this case, I have several plans going up. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to uh, kind of copy the lines and I'm not too, uh, because they're organic, they're plants, so they could, they don't have to be perfect, you know. Uh, they could, but in this case, I'm just gonna go quick. I have one hour to make a cool video, and that's the goal. The butterfly is in this in this middle, this middle stem, and uh, I'm gonna put it right about the center because that's gonna be our main feature for this for this painting. And this is a monarch butterfly. The monarch the monarch butterflies, or they're also called the uh, the Painted Ladies, I believe, they came, uh, man, I wanna say maybe two years ago, there was a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of rain. You remember, it was rare for Los Angeles to get a lot of rain, so we had a lot of rain, I wanna say at least maybe two years ago. It seems like it's not that long ago, but time flies, you know? So the um, there was a lot of butterflies, and the crazy thing is not a lot of people were aware because you know people are not uh, connected with nature you know people are busy you know and uh, like I would see them you know I would see them I was just driving or kind of putting attention to my environment and people most people ignore them and it turned out to be that we had a lot of butterflies because we had a lot of rain and apparently the monarch butterflies they do a migration every Every year, they come from uh, from uh, Baja California, and they 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 may, they try to migrate as far north as they can. So that particular year, I want I want to say it was maybe 2018, or or, or yeah, 2018, maybe 29. Uh, but the 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 season that we had a lot of rain, like more than the normal for for Southern California. Let me show you what I have. I know it's, it's pencil, so it's gonna be uh, challenging to see. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Let me leave that for a little bit. So the mother butterfly, because there was more water, there was more vegetation and they would reproduce more. So they, um, there were more of them. There were like a lot of them. They would, you know, when I went to the airport, they were like on the terminals and their flight is kind of flimsy but they were actually not crashing onto the wall. They were, they were flying over the wall and they kept going, you know? Uh, but I read this article that because there were more that year, because there was more rain, obviously like nature works like that, uh, they were gonna make it farther north. And the problem with that is like the farther north they got, they were gonna like get to a colder area and essentially that was gonna be the end of them because it was gonna, they were gonna get to a colder area and they were gonna like just pretty much die. The ones that made it farther north, the other ones they, you know, they were able to migrate. So I told, uh, I told this lady the story and she told me, oh no, because I pointed the butterflies to her. And she said, no, please, somebody tell the butterflies, don't go to San Francisco. So I just thought that was like a cool, her reaction was priceless. It was kind of like, oh no, they're gonna die. Uh, you know, but the idea is that uh, nature is beautiful and uh, we can enjoy it. So here is uh, my drawing. It's a preliminary drawing. Uh, this butterfly, the picture's a little bit blurry. So it's hard to see some of the details, uh, but I, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I'm just gonna, Try to have a little fun here. Okay, so, and, and this is a challenge sometimes to, to let 
let free and you know express yourself you know uh, so it's okay and th the patterns here are pretty pretty cool so I'm doing a monarch butterfly let's see here's another stem actually the stem is coming this way all right so I'm just gonna go right to it and start start coloring so all you need is uh, color pencils so I have my color pencils and divided into browns and blues are in one, in one, uh, in one chunk and the uh, reds lighter colors and, and warm colors are on another another pile right so I'm gonna just bring them here so I can have them handy and this is all you need right I mean uh, apparently I have a uh, more than I'm gonna use today but I just wanted to illustrate that um, it's a good idea to to think about in terms of in terms of uh, uh, the warmth of the color um, all right so so the sky is blue and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go at it you know I'm just gonna just gonna go at it start adding layers you know I'm gonna try to uh, let's see maybe I should finish the some of the plants uh, let's see this one okay this one has uh, some of the stems and and I'm not being precise the the pictures uh, focuses on the image in the front so the rest of the stuff is blurry so I'm kind of just making this out out but based on my reference uh, I love the composition here so that's a good thing too uh, good composition all right, and uh, there's a flower. Uh, let's see, this are like kind of like pink flowers, and I'm just making like little, little buds or shapes, and those are um, kind of like little cauliflowers that um, that pink, those pink flowers. I'm just making like little butter, uh, little cauliflower shapes. I'm not even worried about like keeping it realistic because I'm going to enhance that with the with the um, the color pencils. The white flowers are really blurry and uh, and I'm not familiar with this plant. I know I've seen them before, but I haven't seen them enough. So I don't know from memory what they look like. So I'm just going to simplify them like in shapes. This one looks like a little heart, which is kind of cool. This one's like an inverted belt. Uh, so they're like little hearts. I'm just gonna do little hearts. How's that? Little hearts. And there's like little whiskers kind of thing looking things from the plant. If you're a flower person, you're probably laughing at me like, yeah, you know, this is this plant. I like plants and flowers. You know, some, I wish I knew more about plants. They're very, um, I like photos. So plants, photos of insects, close-ups are really cool. Uh, all right, so I, I have plenty of the drawing to go about. Um, this blue is kind of like a green blue. And I do, I want, I'm going to add a little bit of this since I already added. Um, so disclaimer, I'm going to start drawing really fast or, or coloring very fast very fast okay because i want to i want to add color to this paper this paper is too white let me show you what it looks like it's too white so i'm just going to go fast and not add color and 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 it's okay don't worry about it if it's you know don't be a perfectionist you know just um not not right now you know for this image is i'm kind of rushing because i do want to make an interesting video but at the same time i want to make something cool and it's all good because um, I can already envision the result here, or, or at least the idea of the result. And it's okay to to work in a in a fast, expressive manner. And because it's color pencils, you can erase. If you don't press too hard, you can erase, and you can shape your drawing as you go along. All this is erasable. 
So this is the sky, and I'm gonna add a, another blue. Um, let's see what this blue is. This is kind of like a darker blue, but I'll add a little bit of that. Just kind of filling in. This is where painting is a little faster because you could just grab a white brush and kind of go at it, you know? But it's okay, we're, we're doing a different media. We're doing dry media and uh, working on something expressive. All right, I need a blue that is lighter. There you go. This blue is kind of like more of a, a blue with white, kind of like a sky blue. Share the video, guys, if you guys are watching. I, I forgot to make a video or an event because this one expired. I usually have multiple dates. So I'm broadcasting out of this past event because I wanted to for you to get the notification. Usually I broadcast from the page. But Facebook is getting better with the pandemic. They're adding uh, cool features. And one of the features is when I have, when I make this video straight from the event link, it'll show on the page. So it kills two birds with one stone and that's kind of cool. I'm working on, I'm gonna just talk a little bit of updates why. So if you're doing this, add, add a lot of blues. Mix up your blues. Maybe even a little purple for your sky, okay? This is, this is, Mix up blue, purple, you know, just, just don't go too dark. Just kind of, just kind of go along. Try to go around the drawing, right? And, and, and don't, don't uh, draw pointing down because you're going to uh, compress the, um, the color pencil into the paper and it's going to be hard to remove. So go soft sideways and it'll help you like manipulate the drawing, right? You can actually make really realistic looking things with the, or drawings, images with color pencils based on your technique on how you apply the uh, color pencil, the, the color pencil into, into, the, uh, into the paper, you know? So I'm going kind of soft, you know? Uh, all right. If I had a little purple, I have purple, I have two shades of blue. Now I'm going to go with this blue and I'm going to try to fill in. I'm going to focus on the empty spots or the white spots and the, uh, man, this is really cool. It's like, it changes your mindset like right away. You know, this is, this is really cool. It's awesome. Uh, the cool thing is that, uh, once I start adding like, now this is only my background, right? This is the blue is the sky. And you notice it's not a, it's not the same as the picture, right? But we're getting there, right? And, and, um, and this is only a reference. We don't have to be precise. So with that being said, we're just adding blue. All right. Wow. It's already like 30 minutes into the hour. I did start a little bit late, so uh, I may go a little bit late, but I I want to keep this video within an hour or less. Let's see how, how we do. Let's see how we do. Wow, the monarch butterfly, huh? All right. All right, so. This is cool. I chose a big paper. I'm kind of like thinking, oh man, I, but you know what? Don't, if you have big paper, use big paper. Be a, be brave, use, you know, be a, you know, step out of the mold, you know, like if you have big paper, draw on big paper, you know? If you have a wall, draw on the wall, paint the wall. If you know, if this is your wall, Paint your wall, you know, like why not? If any, if it goes wrong, you can just paint it back to how it was, you know, and have fun, you know. If you live in a, or if you rent a place, if you don't care for your deposit, just paint over the wall, you know, and have fun. It's better to, to live uh, in happiness, right? You know, because that's what's more important than. 
you know, than, than money at times, you know, like uh, money is good for survival, but happiness is, is even uh, stronger for survival as well, you know. All right, so um, let's see. Now I'm going to go with the green for the plants. I'm going to leave the butterfly till, till, the last, till the last time because that's, um, okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to go fast. I'm gonna go fast, let's see. Mm -hmm. Gotta sharpen this a little bit. And see, I still have three viewers. Thank you for sticking around, watching, sharing the video. Um, dry media today, no painting. Color pencils. If you have crayons, hey, that's even, that's a great, uh, you know, that's great too, you know? Uh, you just have to Consider the medium and you know that crayons you cannot erase them. You can stretch them off Which is a cool effect in itself uh, but We're using color pencils. We're doing something expressive We're doing this you can even go over the green A little bit right there you go All right, so now I'm gonna grab another green like just try to mix up the the greens uh, Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna add the shapes and they're not necessarily, uh, okay, I'm going expressive, all right? A little bit expressive, but but keeping in mind my, uh, my reference. So I'm constantly looking at my picture and I'm drawing really fast, but I'm looking at my picture for, for reference, okay? Um, it's a dark, Dark green for the for the the plants that are on the background. All right. All right. I feel like pastel would be great for this, but you know what? Let's just work with what we have. And uh, actually, I do have pastels for next time, maybe. But we have a lot of colored pencils and, and um, these were donated actually. Um, Paula McComb donated some of them uh, years back. So shout out to Paula McComb. Um, shout out to Carlos donated the pictures. Um, and all right. So I'm going kind of expressive here. Going kind of expressive here. I'm, I am looking at my image. I'm looking at my image here and there. I'm gonna slow down when I get to the butterfly because that's gonna be my highlight. The rest of the stuff is like decoration type of thing. You know, um, so, so let's see. All right, these plants are cool. Really cool. All right, let's just color in these leaves. I'm going expressive, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm switching up the colors as fast as I can to keep the canvas or the paper interesting. Okay, and that's all right. Woo I have a lot of lights right here, and it's gonna rain this weekend, so the weather's humid. So I feel like it's really hot in here. Uh, Patrick Garrett is watching, Derek Coleman, and there were other folks watching us earlier, so shout out to you guys uh, for watching this. Uh, let me show you what I have. Uh, let me bring it up closer. So, so that's what I have for now. Um, I'm just gonna keep adding, right? I'm keep adding adding um, color let's see how that goes yeah my, my phone is really delayed so I'm gonna just keep working and uh, I'm trying to watch live on my other phone here but um, it's really <laughs> delayed all right so the plant in the middle is different than the rest of the plants and that's the one that the butterflies chose to stand on the stem has tinsel of uh, paint so let's start adding that boom right there it has green as well 
the the stem is is green for sure, but but it has like this green, this green. It's green and pink, which is really cool. How cool is that? A, a stem that is green and pink. I don't think I've ever seen that. I guess I haven't looked uh, close, right? And that's the thing that we are walking through this world looking, not looking, right? Just kind of like looking for the next thing, you know? Uh, a quick, we want quick uh, gratification kind of thing in, in our visual experiences, you know? And that's a, that's a challenge uh, for the visual arts uh, because we have to find ways to to create content, right? That's interesting. We're competing with uh, photography, uh, not like, I mean, not not like professional photographers, because that's, uh, you know, they're, but we're competing with the regular folks that are creating images, you know, like, you know, just ourselves, you know? Images are kind of like secondary now. Imagine back in the day, there were, uh, imagine back in the day there were, there were, um, Back in the day, they were. If somebody had a picture, imagine it, it must have been like right now, someone having like I don't know, like a telescope or something innovative, you know, like something that not everybody has. You know, that's the um, you know, like if somebody made a painting, you know, 200 years ago or you know, before phot phot photography was around. That that must have been like a, an amazing experience. Imagine watching a painting or a drawing before there were cameras. You would be really amazed. I mean, even right now, you would be really amazed at watching some people's um, you know paintings and artworks. But can you imagine watching that when there were no photography? So that would be your first uh, uh, realistic view of a. Uh, you know, like that, that would just be an insane experience, you know, like, and I always wonder, like, man, you know, like, it's, it's like, how would it feel like, you know? All right, so, so this flowers have like little, kind of like whiskers or little hairs coming out, and they're kind of pinkish, but I have to use red because this drawing is pretty light. So this will make it stand out. And it's okay. Like I said, we're experimenting. Expressive. Expressive is the word. We're just kind of copying. Kind of letting go of our, uh, of our pre-judgments or doing our best. You know, we're kind of doing that as we go. I'll show you what this looks like. It's kind of looking pretty cool. So these are the flowers in the center of the photograph. Ooh, let me show you that. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna bring that closer to the camera because I think uh, you deserve that for staying around and watching the video. So let's show you that. You see, you see the, um, the flowers and, and see the reference? It's not the same exactly, but it's it's a, it's a good start, right? So you can see we're just adding color, and the more layers we add, the better it's gonna look. So the next uh, what is the next 20 25 minutes? That's all we're gonna do. Try to wrap this up um, and uh, have something cool. So I'm just have something cool. Now there's this this plants have white. And the white doesn't stand out as much. So I'm going to change it to like different color. I'm going to add yellow. Take liberty to change whatever you want on your drawing. So I'm going to make this flowers yellow. All right, they're white, but I'm going to make them yellow. So they can stand out. And they're in the shape of hearts. All right, so that's one of them. I'm going to add another one over here so because it's the same type of flower. All right, so 
right here I went with just making heart shapes. The picture is really blurry, so I just decided to just kind of make it work for me. Let's see, yellow. There we go. It's looking pretty cool. All right, so we gotta keep the the warm colors on one side of the table and the cool colors on another side. That's that's really helpful. All right. Okay, so these flowers have whiskers and they're like a gray color. So uh, I'm going to probably make them, probably make them a dark green so, uh, so they can stand out. Maybe, oh yeah. here's a dark, here's a dark green. Mm, all right, I, yeah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put, Varieties of green. The green kind of neutralizes the, you know, the flowers, so that way they're not competing with the center one. The center one's the, the center stage, right? It's the main one. It's the protagonist in our story here, right? All right. All right, now that I have more color, well, let's see. It's kind of cool drying really fast, you know? It doesn't give you time to, to judge as much. I mean, your brain is always like wired to, to be judgmental, you know, of yourself, uh, of things like that. And it's like, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge to do this, but it's really fun. I mean, it's a big challenge when when you used to like wanting to do something, right? Okay, I'm adding like highlights of brown to the bottom of the plant. And I know it's not on the picture, but you know what? I wanna highlight, put an outline on this beautiful plant. And so I'm taking liberty here. There we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna use this brown because it's really dark to trace around the stem of, of this plant. All right, and, and it'll, it'll start to define the drying a little more uh, with this brown highlight. And you'll see what I mean in a, in a bit. Let me add uh, leaves to, to this one, to this other plant. So you can see I'm like right now I'm kind of just um, working more more with more liberty, right? I, I have my initial drawing. Now I know what I want. And I'm not worried about being too precise. So I'm far away from reality. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. This is cool. The brown. Oh, let me do the stems. Oh, wow. So this plant's kind of taking a life of itself as I'm making it. It's a really cool experience. You should do this. All right, now what I want to do is um, is just grab a cool blue, like a light blue, and try to fill in as much of the sky as possible, just to try to define the image, right? See, when you sharpen this, uh, these color pencils, they tend to fall apart. So it's better if you have an electrical sharpener. If not, just be patient so you don't break the tip as I'm doing constantly. All right, so, so right now I'm kind of micro, micro, and it's okay if you go over 
some of the lines. <coughs> just try to avoid going over like the flowers so they don't look muddy. But you can go over the stem if you want a little bit so you can carry the, the color. So this is not like, like trying to be precise and stay within the line. It's not like your, you know, like your coloring book. You know, this is an original artwork that you're creating. And, and this is true for, for like every, every artwork. When we see a lot of the white, then, you know, your brain like either con uh, subconsciously just thinks of like the paper. It thinks of something being unfinished. And, and especially if you're an artist looking at other art, it kind of tends to look unfinished and all you can think of is like that white paper and you kind of almost want to start filling in what's missing, you know? Um, so just keep adding. Um, so I'm going to challenge myself and, and try to stop when I reach my hour. So I'm going to leave like the last five minutes for the butterfly in the center. So I have to color in the sky. Um, it's better if you blend with the pencil, not with like your hands, you know, because it'll be harder to erase. It's good to erase if you want to add highlights to the sky, you know, like little, you know, it, 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 it will erase some of it, not completely, so it, it'll have a cool effect, like a really Kind of like the sky is always like, it's not like, it's not like a wall that is one color, right? The sky has like shades of, or different shades of blue and, or, or different warms and, and cools. All right, so let's see. All right, this table's really squeaky with this coloring, this coloring madness. Let's see. In a in a in a good way, right? Like all this, and I do gotta say, while you're doing this, your brain is going through some experience that uh, you're not thinking of like anything else. You know, I'm not even gonna bring that into, but it's like an experience. You just keep going, keep going, start to feel a little, a little. Uh, your shoulder, my shoulder starting to feel a little, a little worn. Just a little stretching, right? All right. So let's add a little highlights with this dark brown to the stems, just to kind of enhance the drying a little bit. But this brown is gonna be pretty neutral because it's not coloring. I'm, I keep breaking the tips, but that's okay. I have a lot of them ready to go, and I'm working in a very expressive manner. All right, I'm gonna show you in like a minute or two my progress, and then I'll start working on the butterfly. I'll probably add more once I'm done with the class, but at least I have like a challenge that I wanna complete, or you know, at least 90%, something interesting within one hour. And you can rewatch this video. I mean, you can do this slowly, take your time, you know? But I wanted to experience something different, be a little expressive. Um, all right, so let me add blue around the butterfly and then I'll leave the rest of the time to fill in or to uh, color in the butterfly. All right, so let me just finish adding blue around this plant in the center so the butterfly can stand out. And because I went light, generally, I can always go darker and, and it's gonna, like you can go on and on and on for a long time. And that's kind of the goal as well, right? But at least today I'll have something, you know, that vision looks somewhat completed and very interesting. That's actually the, the most, and it could be complete as, you know, uh, if you decide to, you know, like if it looks complete to you, you can stop and work on something else, you know. All right, let's see what we have here. 
All right, so, I mean, I see drawings like this all the time, like in coloring books, but they usually soften the, um, there you go. Let me, I'm creating a shadow, so let's do this, right? So you can see I'm um, uh, all color pencil. All color pencil, the butterfly I'm gonna do last, I'm gonna do that right now. But looking at the video, this flower is there's, it's kind of similar. So I'm gonna have to um, add like maybe an orange to that, you know? But I'm gonna work on the butterfly now. And we'll call it a, you know, we'll call it a, a day in the, for, you know, for this class. So this is gonna be fun, the orange butterfly. All right, so I'm gonna go light, just one layer. I can still see the drawing underneath. And let's see how that's gonna be. All right, so the center is like a black. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with black, why not? Well, this is more like a gray. Well, it says black here. All right. Let's just shade it in. And draw the patterns. Not, not bad. Very expressive. Very, very expressive. Expressive means like uh, you can see how the coloring was moved around or, you know, the drawing or you can actually see it like physically. You can see the marks, you know, you can see the expression of the movement like, you know, there's no soft coloring, at least not yet, you know. You know, so that's uh, very, very, very expressive. Now I'm going to use another black. That black's kind of like a... It leaves like a gray, uh, gray, like a gray feeling to it. And that's because we're doing over a, over white paper, right? So, um, all right, we're reaching the hour. So I'm just going to highlight or color this butterfly. You know, the butterfly has like spots, like circles on the outer wing. And in this, this particular image, the wings, the outer wings are not uh, spread out as much. So they're not easily seen. I mean, you can see some of them, but they're not like that obvious. So I'm just gonna make little circles of yellow. Okay, it's not, uh, it's gonna make like a pattern of circles around and okay. Let's see. Okay, where's the black? I'm gonna use the the black. And you know, color pencils are they all different brands or different kinds. Some of them are softer. Some of them are 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 you know harder to press on. You know, they're all different. And depending on how you use them, sometimes they, they you know, the effect is different. So, but that's okay. The more you use that medium, the more you like figure out how to manipulate or, or move the, the color around, you know? Same thing with painting, you know, the more you do it, the more, uh, you know. Now I'm gonna add yellow on the parts that I left color within the wings to give it a full effect it's gonna actually go right over wow and the antennas wow this is really beautiful it's very expressive 
but it's beautiful at the same time. Okay, so um, we're probably gonna wrap it up in five minutes. So I'm going to do the last uh, touches. While I do that, I'm gonna make a few announcements. Uh, first announcement is um, November 22nd, Sunday, we have an event at the parking lot of Caravana Furniture with dance performances by Maha and Company with live music by Dave Williams and MBT, uh, Magic Bullet Theory Jazz Band. Uh, it's uh, on our page, on our Facebook page. It is outdoors. Uh, it is uh, social distancing required. Uh, you have to wear a mask. I will be there. If you don't have a mask, I will uh, tell you where to get a mask. Um, you know, so we are going to be looking out for, for that, for the safety protocols. Um, I'm going to be doing live art, maybe a drawing, maybe a painting. My buddy Yeo may come through and help with the, you know, do a live art. Um, so it's going to be fun at noon, at noon, at noon, at noon, um, 12, maybe we're going to do it for an hour, two hours. Um, come through if you want, you know, if you, if you can't make it because, you know, the, uh, situation and or other commitments it, uh, we're gonna live stream it I'm gonna live stream it as well so I'm gonna do something like this you know um, so so you can kind of see the dance and the music you know and hear the music this is gonna be great thank you caravana furniture for letting us do this the title of the event is the the lot 2.0 because we already did one so this is our second one and, uh, you know, uh, Keith Lilly is going to pass out uh, some essentials for the community, first come, first serve. I'm not supposed to announce that we don't have enough for everybody, but it, 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 it's a few things we're passing out. But the main thing is the dance and the music. Outdoor, have a mask, watch it online if... Uh, it's going to be a Facebook Live, uh, but also if you're there, you can come through and stay within six feet from the next person next to you and wear your mask. So uh, I have two minutes to add details. I think I want to use, I want to take advantage of that. Wow, I'm loving this. This is really cool. Um, I had to push myself so I can work fast for something, uh, something expressive. Um, wow, okay, where's my purple? Here is my purple. Now I'm gonna add like highlights of purple to the sky, just kind of like maybe on the corners. Oh, the other announcement, it's, uh, I'm gonna make a mural in our building. Um, but it's going to be a part of this class. So I'm going to make it. And uh, where my daughter and I actually, it's her idea to create, uh, you know, the design. So we're going to do that. But I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to broadcast it as part of the, of the uh, live online art classes. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna add some some um, what do you call it? Hi, hi, not highlights, but uh, I forgot the term. Yeah, outlines. Outlines is a term to the flowers, you know, so they can stand out because the shapes. The only outline that was left was the pencil. The pencil outline. And I'll show you the picture again, and I'll show you the final result. And you're gonna see what I meant about taking a lot of liberty. You gotta remember, this is one hour, 
and the idea was to have fun, right? You can frame this. If you frame this, oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna stand out. If you frame it with the mat around, you're gonna be like, whoa, I did that. I'll show you what I mean by that. This picture right here, let me see this one right here. I've, uh, once I framed it, I wasn't prepared to show it, but, uh, okay, so let me show you this. It's actually one of the first drawings we did. And, you know, once you frame it, look at that. It's like, it takes a whole life in itself, right? And these are cheap frames from uh, the 99 cent store, you know, that you can just buy and frame your drawings. And, and you'll have an amazing collection of, of art. Um, right, so, so I want to show you this, uh, you know, because it just came to mind that, all right, we're, uh, I did start late, so I'm going to go another five minutes and color in, and then uh, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoy the video. Share it if you want. Uh, um, if you enjoy it, you know, comment. You know, uh, shout out to Yeo that's donated material over the past few months. Carlos, um, Lisa Hernandez donated to, to my class. Um, shout out to... Um, Keith Lilly running the, the program here for many years. I'm going to do a music video tomorrow, so stay tuned. Um, stay tuned. Wow. This is so cool. Um, the experience itself, you know, like, you're like, you're doing this, and... Uh, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna this whiskers or, or this little hairs of the plant, they look really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with greens, different greens, and make them stand out like oh wow. Give them a little more definition. There you go. See this one right here. Wow. All right, so you guys ready to for me to show you the final result? This is it, guys. Let me go up there and show you what I have. This is it for today. Um, I'm going to take photos of this so you can see the details. Um, so let me bring it up to, to the camera. So this is what I have. It's not bad, huh? Like, Considering it was done within like an hour or something, makes something expressive. This is our source. You see, it's obviously like, you know, realistic versus express expressive, right? A little bit abstract, working fast, trying to uh, show something expressive colors. I have to make the, the, the blue, I have to color it more. So I have to add like maybe 30 minutes to an hour of just shading in. Uh, but that's just labor and I'm gonna do that on my own time. Uh, but I wanted to show you that, that you can do something cool, something fast, and you can leave it like this. I just wanna make it darker so the plants can stand out. So this little white specks of paper that you see, I'm gonna cover all of that. So that's gonna be my homework. And uh, if you want to take this class, it's free. It's on in the internet, on Facebook. Uh, just finish the drawing, you know, finish the coloring. If you want to add paint, that's your drawing. You can do that, you know. It's called mixed media when you do dry and, and you know, and other, and other, and other forms of material. Um, so here's my, my picture. Here is my result. Then I, I'm going to add more blue. And I'll show you what that looks like uh, for next time. Thank you guys for watching. Efren Luna here with the Cultural Alliance of Long Beach. Um, and with our music and culture. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care of your community. And keep doing art. Keep doing art. Send us your uh, comment. Your, uh, send us your images on the, uh, on the page. On the Facebook page. And see what you have. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.